in the previous videos we showed how to create a control chart a p control chart a proportion control chart for a fixed sample size or fixed subgroup size in this video we'll, we're going to show you how to create for the variable uh, sample size it's basically it's same uh, no formulas are different uh, we're going to do the exact same operations uh, if you think about reality um, think about this situation the online online retailer selling these products they don't necessarily sell every single day 2500 products like this one you have seen before typically the sample size or product they sell is changes so it makes more sense to create control chart with variable subgroup uh, size um, nothing changed um, basically exact same formulas so let's copy the formulas that we're going to use uh, for this same thing we have done before uh, nothing nothing different so same formulas so to do that i need the total here to calculate the average uh, uh, proportion defective or complaint equals sum of this like that now let's create just the proportion that would be equal to this divide by this and then copy all the way down uh, and then p bar that's the grand mean for this proportion control chart so p bar is equal to uh, this divide by this the total defective divided by the total uh, number of sample inspected copy all the way down uh, because i didn't freeze that so let's freeze that and then copy like that let's fix everything now we're going to calculate the upper control limit and lower control limit upper control limit is basically p bar this is the formula p bar plus three times sqrt p times uh, use a parenthesis one minus p bar again close the parenthesis now divide by n this sample size so we did basically the same thing before uh, for the p chart revised peter trial p chart we did the same thing now we are doing it for different sample size if you would copy all those formulas right here it would basically do the same thing uh, go I'm just not sure why I'm showing it again so equal to uh, p bar minus 3 times sqrt looks like uh, my student came let's pause this let's start again um, so we left from we calculated the upper control limit and then the lower control limit then p bar times uh, one minus uh, p bar close the parenthesis divide by uh, n the sample size this so i think that's it copy down so we're basically done now we select this and then inside the chart we have selected the line chart uh, so this is the control chart for uh, variable uh, subgroup size so it would be p chart for variable subgroup size chart for variable subgroup size title all the axes so it makes sense uh, this axis is the non-conformance or the proportion non-conformance or proportion defective uh, same thing this is the subgroup size not subgroup size subgroup 
in this case it was the day uh, so that's about the um, trial control chart let me say trial control p chart now i'm going to show you now the revised control chart basically if you have some reason that these out of control points uh, because of some situations then you can delete those out of control points let's say these two are out of control has some assignable causes this data comes from um, some saturday uh, this one in uh, uh, this saturday so these two saturday probably some part-time workers working or something i don't know but let's imagine that they have some assignable causes so all you have to do is basically copy that in another page and then name that as revised um, p chart for uh, variable subgroup and all i have to do is just delete those two um, out of control points those are assignable causes this saturday and then uh, one uh, here this saturday this one and this one then delete that and so we have assignable causes everything else is calculated uh, automatically because the formula is copied so i can basically select these four and then plot it so that's the revised uh, control chart for uh, variable uh, subgroup size so revised p chart for variable subgroup size we need to title all the axis without title we don't have any meaning so that's the proportion non conformance and this one is the subgroup in this case the day uh, like that so that's it about the revised and also the trial uh, p chart for variable control uh, p chart variable subgroup uh, p chart for variable uh, subgroup size these subgroups are different sample size